1938, workers excavating near Baghdad uncovered something that seemed ordinary, a small clay jar about six inches tall. Inside were a copper cylinder and an iron rod. At first glance, it looked simple, but when scientists recreated the setup and filled it with an acidic liquid like vinegar or grape juice, it produced electricity. This humble artifact became known as the Baghdad Battery, and it raised one of archaeology's strangest questions. Did ancient people know how to generate power over 2,000 years before electricity was discovered? The jar dates back to the Parthian or Sassanid period, somewhere between 200 BCE and 200 CE. That's long before Benjamin Franklin's kite or Volta's battery. So what would ancient craftsmen have used it for? Some theories suggest it powered early electroplating, using small electric currents to coat jewelry or statues in thin layers of gold or silver. Others believe it was used in religious rituals, where the faint shock of static might have been interpreted as divine energy. A few even claim it was part of a larger, lost technology, evidence that ancient civilizations understood natural forces far more deeply than we give them credit for. Skeptics, of course, argue the jar wasn't a battery at all. They say it may have held sacred scrolls or served as simple storage. But replicas of the device have proven it can generate up to a volt of electricity. Not much, but enough to suggest intent. If the Baghdad battery truly was used to harness power, it would rewrite our understanding of ancient innovation. It would mean that long before modern science, humans had already glimpsed and perhaps wielded the invisible energy that flows through the world around us. And maybe, just maybe, they were lighting the way for the discoveries still to come.